Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 2. I'm LittleFoo68, and as you just saw, we are tackling World 4 today. This is my favorite world out of this entire game, because it is just so fun. Aside from all the ice and the teapots of doom, or actually, flurries, and they look nothing like teapots. I don't know why I ever thought that when I was a kid, but, you know, sometimes you just think this stuff and it sticks with you, and, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> I already skipped a mushroom for this level because I personally don't think that it's worth getting. Um, actually, you know what, I'm gonna include a link in my description to... On GameFAQs.com, there's a full list of really helpful maps for this game. Um, SNES Master 1, I think, does them, and they are a lifesaver if you're trying to get everything. Um, I've definitely used them for some of the levels that I'm not as familiar with, just because, you know, when I was a kid I didn't care to get all the mushrooms, but now I kind of would like to know so I can point them out. But, uh, yeah. You should definitely go check those out if you're playing along, which you totally should be because this game is awesome and you can play it on so many different systems. There are so many versions available right now. Um, there's actually about to be one more because it's coming out for the Wii. Uh, the 25th anniversary collection. So, yeah, should totally pick that up if you haven't already, if you don't already have uh, one of the many other versions available. Okay, oh, there we go. I like to call this technique the jump and squat. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, ah, door trouble again. It is what I think the most effective way to get through that little area is, and I haven't actually tried doing it with other characters, so I'm not sure if it works as well if they don't have the floating ability, but... Um, you know what? I'm playing as princess, so uh, I guess you guys can find that one out for yourselves. <laughs> I'm just gonna have fun with this world. Okay, this potion does one very important task that I will demonstrate, kind of, but, um, yeah, not actually gonna use it. Right here, right here, there's a warp right there to world six, actually, and usually that's how I get through this level, but we're gonna blast off again because Princess is secretly a member of Team Rocket. Oh yeah, I went there. <laughs> She's... Climbing in your windows, snatching your Pikachus up. Not really. That was corny. We're not going to do that again. I promise. Alright, we're going to subject this poor little shy guy to some serious pain that he doesn't seem to feel. Oh, uh, there we go. Forget that door. We don't need it, because we're going to be cheap. I only just discovered this recently, so I'm kind of psyched about it can just one-shot that Birdo with a star. How cool is that? It's pretty freaking cool, I think. Okay. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Of course not. Alright, we are already on part three. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I lied before when I said that there was only going to be red birdos from now on, but this one serves a specific purpose. So we'll get to that in a second after we get this mushroom. Oh. Okay. So this one is pink. It only shoots eggs. Which uh, we're going to ride. That is its magical purpose. If you kill it, it doesn't drop anything. You just uh, you ride it. All of his plants are worthless. And right here, with every character except Princess, you would have to go in this door. But Princess is awesome and can jump right over here, which is where you come out of after you do this whole um, castle-y part here. So we could skip to right here, which is the end of the entire level. But again, that would make for a very short, uninteresting LP, probably. Um, so I'm going to tough this out for you guys. Oh, goodness. It is icy. There are flurries everywhere. I don't know why I ever thought they looked like teapots. 
<laughs> they look like something, I just don't know what. Oh, yeah, yeah, I knew I was gonna either get hit or fall there, which falling would have been the better option, but... Yeah, we're almost here. That's not too bad. Now this part, I think, is pretty cool. You're actually on the top of these buildings, obviously, that we were just in, and you can climb up here, and the last mushroom is right here. Ta-da! Then you can just fall down and go in this door. Oh, I don't really like this part. Alright, once again, poor Shy Guy is uh, our mode of transportation here, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I actually wanted to talk a little bit in this episode about what I'm going to be doing next. The problem with that being, I don't actually know what I'm going to be doing next. This LP is already half over. This game is pretty short, really, if I wanted to. I could just record the rest of it today and be done this week. Oh, oh my goodness, I really have a hard time getting in these doors on this ice. Oh, please don't hit me, you big scary phanto dude. Wow. Okay, ignoring my failure. Um, yeah, next LP. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Oh, oh, I know that this was my undoing last time, but I wanna try this. Come on, phanto, come on. Come on. Of course not. I really wanted to see if I could kill him, but of course he wasn't going to show up when I needed him to. Okay. Oh, goodness, go away. I dropped your key. He's being feisty today. Oh god, he's so scary. Make him go away. Alright, I keep getting sidetracked. Yes, um, next LP. I'm thinking I'm... Oh, you bugger, because I couldn't... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Alright, now that that's over. That lovely ordeal. Whew. I'm planning on making a video with the top... I don't know, top five, top three choices for my next LP, and then I'm probably going to just let you guys decide because I am the most indecisive person on the face of the planet. Um, yeah, so all that aside, here is our, <laughs> our fourth boss, and he is new and exciting. And his name is Fry Guy, and I can't hit him because I'm deficient today. There we go. Now when you hit him three times, he bursts into these four little dudes, and they are a serious pain. Because when you start to kill them, they, um, they actually get faster and jump further. And it's a total pain. So if you can try and kill them all in one go, or two goes, that's preferable. You can see they actually are much faster now. Um, here, let me see if I can... Okay. There we go. Just like that. Had to get tiny, but whatever, it's done. Alright, so yeah, that's it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and all the other wonderful things that I thank you for at the end of the episode. <laughs> at this point, you know what they are. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click the subscription button, please. It will make my day. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.